What's up, guys? The Fat Cable here. Today, I'm showing you guys a full run of Chromie's Trial, which is a solo instance. Let me show you on the map here. Yeah, uh, you can do this uh, when you're 37 level. I mean, level 37 or above. As you can see, max people who can be in this uh, instance is one, so it's a solo instance. Uh, and I believe the wait, I believe the wait time uh, cooldown is six you. hours. I think. I think it's six hours. Yeah, but I'll I'll check that. I'll sh I'll show you guys uh, that uh, after the run. But um, yeah. When you first come in, there's a cutscene, so I'll shut up and let you guys watch the cutscene. Take a look at this. Maga's potion. It's in the temple vault. The temple vault? That's the holy ground of Seal Spear Legion. You're out of your mind. How can you even consider such a plan? You know there's no other way. Robston must be saved. No? Do this, and I'll guarantee your safety. And perhaps Robston's. I want your word you won't harm Robston, and that this is it. This is the last time. I, Kaliga, give you my word. I will ask no more of you after this. Lady Seal, please forgive me. Yeah, so um, this instance is about the story of Chromied. Um, Chromied, of course, is the main boss of uh, Fire Temple. That's why I, that's, there's, that's where I, uh, got almost all my gear, <laughs> like, all my guns and, um, silver coins from Chrome Meat, I mean, uh, Fire Temple to buy my armor sets and my ring and sash as well, so. Um, yeah. So, yeah, uh. As you can see, I am now Chromie. I'm playing. I'm, I'm playing as Chromie right now. Yeah. So once you come into this instance, you uh, yeah. As you can see, Chromie transformation. You have transformed into Chromie. So yeah. Let me let me show you the map here. So, like, so I, the reason I don't like solo instance is, I mean, even though it gives you a lot of XP, and it's a, it's a good way to just, I don't know, just level, level up your character. It's just really boring. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to put it. It's, it's really boring. Because all you do is just kill, kill these mobs by yourself. And uh, I'm level 43, and the reason I'm why I'm doing this because is because uh, I want to get this uh, I want to get this pet. So when you when you complete Chromie's trial ten times, as you can see it says repetition repetition two out of ten. So when you complete this ten times, additional reward. It gives you Sati uh, Throdonic, which is a pet, and uh, the only pet I have is this frog. And I mean, even though it's you know having a pet, having this pet is nice. Uh, this guy doesn't have a bag, like uh, usually if uh, a pet has a bag, then you can you can there's a there's an icon that says pet bag. And you can click on it, and it has like something like 12 spaces. Uh, you know, it depends on the pet. But uh, so I mean, but this fat, uh, this frog doesn't have any bag, so 
The reason why I want to get the, uh, this Roton egg is because I want to carry uh, more stuff. So I'm trying to do this 10 times. I've only done it twice and I'm, only, uh, I'm already level 43. And this solo instance is uh, for level 37s and above. So I'm quite behind, but I mean, and it also has a six hour cooldown, so I don't know. Uh, so I don't know, it's like two, you can do it only like twice a day. But um, the monsters in here give uh, a lot of XP as you can see. Uh, energy of repose is whenever you, whenever you don't have Whenever you didn't play for a while and you can't uh, come back, uh, yeah, as you can see, you feel rested and energetic. You gain 40% additional XP and 10% uh, drop rate. So basically, whenever like you come back into the game after like something like I don't know, a couple of hour, hour break, a couple hours break, then uh, it refreshes. Which is nice. Yeah, they give about like 70, 70k XP. Which is awesome. So, if you want to level up quick, do, uh, do this solo instance. Or any solo instance at that. Uh, while I am uh, doing this instance, I'm going to be talking about some of the new skills that I've learned. Uh, this thing right here is a skill that I've learned and it's called Siege Cannon and it does more damage uh, against like castle gates and it's like this is like a gate type of thing so it does Stage 1 it does uh, 210 magical wind damage but additional 4000 damage to a castle gate. Uh, stage 2 it does the same damage but additional 470, uh, 400, I mean 4700 damage against a castle gate. And third stage it does 6000 to gates. Yeah so it's really useful in breaking down gates. Incendiary shell. Uh, I think I've talked about this in the last uh, last video, but I haven't talked about this. This is a stigma uh, skill, blazing bombardment. It does more damage than um, incendiary shell. And you know, but it has the same. It has the same basic concept. It has three stages, but it just does more damage. And also, it de decreases uh, fire resistance of target. Uh, yeah. So those are my ether cannon skills. The new ether cannon skills. Now for the. Uh, uh, for the dual pistols cross trigger now I learn aerial shot that's where I that's when I go like flying in the air and uh, do that kind of thing it does let me, let me show you guys the skill aerial shot yeah go to chains oh oops I agree Let's go to chains and show you. Um, the last time it was only uh, cross trigger and canter shot, but I learned aerial shot, and you can do this twice. 
you can do this twice so this does 478 magical water damage and it absorbs 100% of the uh, damage inflicted as mana and this does 374 magic damage magic water damage and absorbs 50% of the inflicted damage as your uh, as mana and but this does and this does 464 magic water damage and absorbs 10% of the mana and these all uh, drain targets mana and there's a second tree when you use cross trigger and it goes to tr trigger pull this is really good for pvp as you can see it, length it lengthens the targets casting time for magic skills by 100% for 8 seconds so when you're pvping against um, like mages or healers cuz uh cast time for heal is pretty long but it you know it increases the cast time for heals or any nuke abilities that mages have or healers have by 100% so really good against uh with PVP um what else did i learn oh yeah gunshot Oh wait, no, I didn't. I didn't learn. Yeah, yeah I didn't learn this. Uh, trunk shot. It was only trunk shot and then volley. But I learned uh, muzzle flash. This does 669 magic fire fire damage, and absorbs 10% of, I mean 20% of HP. Wait, absorbs. Wait, what? Oh, okay. So you heal off of this. I didn't know that. Oh, okay. So you absorb you absorb twenty percent of the inflicted damage as your uh, HP. So I guess you can heal off of that. I didn't even know that. I thought the only heal, uh, like drain drain healing ability, was this par grab, which is a stigma skill that I got. It inflicts 452 uh, water damage and takes 100% of the inflicted damage as uh, your hit point and 50% as your mana. And I think that's all. I think that's about all uh, all the skills that I learned. Oh, this thing, which is remove shock, and <clears throat> it's really good against PvP. Every every class learns this at level 40, I think. Uh, it removes cut. It removes any kind of uh, CC effect that you have on you, but it has a minute cooldown. So as you can see, I just used power grab and my HP and MP went up to full. Really useful, um, just really useful skill. I thought I, I thought I would gra uh, grab it. It was pretty expensive though, because it's a stigma and I bought it. Um, let's go into my stigma tree and these are all the stigma that I have. As you can see, as you level, you unlock uh, more slots. I only had three slots the last time I uh, showed you guys my skill and I was like level 34 or something yeah all right get the key from this guy open this gate Um, as you go inside the manor, it the mobs get harder. So <laughs> if you guys think the mobs are too easy, uh, I'm also I'm a, I'm also really high level in these mo mobs because they're level 38 and I'm level 43. So 
and just gunners do way more, like a lot of damage and I'm pretty well geared I, I like to think that I'm pretty well geared um, spent a lot of silver on these um, went over yeah I have the uh, the full sun drenched set as you can see the full sun drenched set set um, and they're all like plus six at least yeah I think the yeah I think these two are only plus six and my pants are plus eight and these are plus eight and my uh, chest piece is plus nine and as you enchant it uh, as you like upgrade it your, the physical defense that it like it goes up by two I think no actually it doesn't go up by two because I'm at 36% more physical I mean 36 points more uh, to physical defense and I, on, I only have 9% yeah all, all those high uh, parentheses those are the bonus that it gives for enchanting it nine times so yep so any any chance you get you should uh, enchant your uh, armor pieces or your weapons because it really does make a difference and as you can see my pistols are uh, plus 12s and plus 13s let's get the key from this guy get the money and then head into the manor sing coming up so I'll shut up Show me what you've brought. First, let me see Robston. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I'll let you see him right, right away. away. What should we do with her? We already have the potion. And the Archon of Dusk must know something is up by now. Get rid of her. But first, we'll deal with Robston. Yes, sir. How dare you deceive me! Roton! Nice. Uh, let's kill these two. Alright. If you guys haven't figured it out, Robston is uh, obviously Crow Meat's uh, other half. Yeah, so in here mobs are a little bit difficult, but I still kill it pretty quick. Uh, I have to kill these prisoners uh, for quest. So let's kill all these prisoners. I need to kill eight of them. That quest is the one for the Rotan. Oh no, it's not. Okay, let me click on this guy. What? Alright, I guess it's the girl that I can loot. Get the money. 
Get all this money. Accuracy? I don't really need the accuracy. Oh, I need attack. You can sell attack for a couple, couple of thousand. I mean, couple. It's like it's like forty k or something. Oh god, I have so many. This is bad. Uh oh. No problem. Um, let's see what else I have to do. This one, I finished. This one, go inside, help the divine. Okay, I did that one also. And this one is, yeah. This one's coming up. Oh, I'm not inside the manor yet. I'm inside uh, the prison. Kill this guy. Open this door. And to my right, there is Robston. There's Robston and he, he says, run Chromie, run. Clearing it pretty quickly as I can. Uh, you know, I'm I'm higher level than these guys, so it says there's a there's an object of great power nearby, and I already picked up the uh, the first object with great power, which was the. Rotan, uh, the silver break, silver break blade Rotan, which is like a item specific to this uh, instance that you pick up from mini bosses and stuff. And I'll show you on uh, when we fight this guy. I'll summon, I'll summon my Rotan. You guys probably remember Rotan from uh, uh, Fire Temple. He uh, he was one of the mini bosses of. Fire Temple. So kill these two, and then let's fight this guy, and let's summon my Rotan. As you can see, you can summon your Rotan and your attacks. Unfortunately, it doesn't aggro, pull any aggro. So it can't really tank for you, but... 
you know, a little bit of DPS add, added on. Not bad. So let's get the key from this guy and pick up our se second, uh, I guess, relic or whatever. Object with great power, we'll call it. It's called Explosive Bead and, uh, yeah. It does, it does a pretty decent amount of damage. It doesn't show what it does actually, so I don't know. Does it really? Does it really not show what it does? Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't like. Doesn't explain what it does. But <laughs> I mean, the name is pretty obvious. It you know, you create this like big explosion around you, and you know they they all get damaged. Um, Robson now is dead. When we passed him, he was saying "run, Chromie, run," but. I guess this guy killed him and Robson is now dead. As you can see, your heart fills with both rage and sadness. And this is where you get this rage of chromid, both HP and MP goes. Okay, these bats is a good time to use this uh, explosive beat. Uh, as you can see, I showed you guys right there. It does like uh, almost 23. 2300 damage but back to this uh, both HP and MP increased by a thousand but uh, for an hour so for the duration of this uh, instances instance your HP and MP goes up by a hundred which is really nice because uh, from now on mount uh, these these guys do a lot of a lot of a lot of damage if, if it can hit me 100 almost 200 Time to collect these dream uh, fragments and these mage these these mage people do uh, a lot more damage than you know the archery guy they do about like 300 damage per shot so I gotta be really careful all right get another dream fragment so basically you have to kill every single guard or defender. Oh, okay, another cutscene. I'll oh, shut up. Oh, it's, it's not really a cutscene, it's like a... It shows you where to, where to go. Where is Lord uh, Oh, it is cutscene. The Lord is in the vault. Is that so? Tell him that I have Maga's potion. And what of Chromeed? Tell the Lord Robston and Chromeed have both been dealt with. Understood. Uh-uh, you haven't dealt with me. I'm still alive and kicking and with a thousand more HP and MP. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm coming for you. To avenge Robston's death. Alright. I have full DP, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna use this. Spin success. And let's pop some. guys and killing these uh killing these guys since they're Asmodians I think because they're Asmodians that you get more DP because if you kill uh, like opposite race because I was Elios if you kill opposite race I think that's what it is I don't know but I, I maybe it's just mo uh, mobs here give you more DP when you kill them 
because it goes up by like 100 and normally if you just kill normal mobs it doesn't go up by that much at all This prophet's tower, it gives you a shield, I believe. Prophet's bla blessing, yeah, a shield that bro blocks 100%. I mean, 100 damage each time you receive an attack. It blocks up to 500 damage, so it's pretty good. So for the next five attacks, I'm gonna receive uh, less, uh, 100 less damage. To be honest, I only need to kill these guards or um, I only need to kill this guard because the only thing I'm going for is the dream fragment. Oh god. I, I got so many. Oh god. This is kind of bad. Uh oh. This is kind of bad. I'll be fine though. fragment some money from this guy I guess I'll pick that up and sell it wait what, what was that attack what was that attack that was attack all right I'll take that then all right let's use this fountain which heals me uh it heals me 200 HP for 10 seconds for 2 seconds Every 2 seconds for 10 seconds I admit Let's kill this defender Kill this gardener Get out of here gardener Go back to your gardening Let's uh, get this dream fragment. I believe you have to kill every single guard and defender to get all 15 uh, dream fragment. I think so. I think you have like two left over at the end. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll see though. Alright. Kill this guy. Uh, there, the, it says, you know, it says there's a object of great power nearby. The third object is this sleep flower. Bam, I got it, and it's, you know. Oh, it, it does say what it does. It puts selected target to sleep for a period amount of time, and then envelops. And envelops in envelops it in a damage dealing explosion. Okay, so it it, it sleeps them, and then it does uh it, it does some damage. Let's uh grab this thing again to help me shield some damage. All right, let's kill this guard. Dream fragment, kill this defender. There we 
we go. This is where, uh, like the first mini boss is. This is Kaliga's wife, I believe. Yeah, this guy, Lady, Lady Anger or whatever. But I don't want to kill. I don't want to kill her because when you kill, when you kill the mini bosses in this instance, the main boss, which is Kaliga, obviously, gets weaker. And when he gets weaker, his drop rate decreases, I believe. So I don't want to do that. Cause I believe he drops a weapon box, or yeah, I think he drops a key that opens a weapon thingy. You guys will see what I'm talking about uh, when we get there. Uh, but let's kill this shadow executioner. Pick up this dream fragment, and uh, last object of great power is Maga's potion. And let's take this. Oh, pick it, and it completely restores HP and reflects enemy attacks for a period of time, which is really good. But I think it has the longest cooldown of all. I think it. I think it has like something like 30 minute cooldown or something. Oh, 10 10 minute cooldown. Uh, sleep has five minute. Uh, explosive beat has two minute and Rotan has thirty seconds, so I can I can basically spam Rotan if I want. All right, let's uh, summon Rotan here. Why not? Rotan really doesn't do that much damage. He only does like 200 damage per hit. So, but hey, little amount helps. See, 400 damage per shot. That's a lot of damage. I'll, I'll only can take like four, 10 shots before I. Pretty much dead. Actually, I have like 6,000 HP when I'm talking. About. Anyways, let's kill this too. There we go. I actually really don't need to kill all these guys. So I'm, I'm just going to run past these guys. And let's kill these two here. my explosive uh, bead to help it go a little bit faster why not it's only a, it's only a two minute cooldown so. kill this guy get the dragon fragment Yeah, I was right. I was, it's like, yeah, you're left with like uh, actually three extra. So, cause this guy, this guy gives one, and the other guy right there, the, another guard gives one. So there's total of. Oh, actually, you didn't. Then you don't even have to go into the garden. You know, cause the guard garden had. Uh, three guards and defenders but if they're all here then you don't really have to go into the guard <laughs> garden anyways let's kill this let's kill this guy I don't really need to kill that uh, butler or whatever let's 
eat this barbecue and food basket because it gives this one the barbecue gives magic boost and magic accuracy so Upstairs over there is another mini boss. Let me actually go up there and show you guys. But I don't I, I don't wanna kill this guy again because if you kill this guy then the actual the actual boss in this instance gets weaker and drops his uh there there he is justice taker. He is the second mini boss but I'm not gonna kill that guy. So let's head downstairs and fight the final boss. Kill Jivis right here. You are not on the guest list. You are not on the guest list. Master, the guest has arrived. All right, let's go in here. This is where the final boss is. Kaliga, I'm coming for you. I will revenge Robston's death. Let's kill these two guards here. Bam, 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 bam. Mm -hmm. Alright, get the money from them. As you can see, there's like weapon uh, lock. Uh, racks and I think uh, I think this guy drops a key to open one of these so you can choose any of the any of these you want I think so let's kill oh god oh god I'm stunned Take out your pistol. Kill that mana relic. And kill the strength relic. Okay. And then get to the boss. Oh god, they spawned some ads. Oh no! There we go, killed him. And he did not drop anything, so that sucks. Oh yeah, that sucks. He only dropped a sash, a belt. Yeah, well. Well, that's a complete run, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me head outside here and turn in these quests. Mm, so you use the gate to go out. I killed Kaliga. Avenged Robston's death. And uh, we'll, we'll turn in these uh, quests here. Nice to meet you. All right. Yeah, I think this guy gives me yeah the rotonic. So I really want that. I really want that pet. I guess I don't even need, need to do these quests. Then. Maybe this one. Why not? 
More XP. Ion has so. led you here. Alright. Alright, well that completes the that completes the Chromis trial. It has a six hour cooldown. I've been there for uh forty five minutes, it looks like. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Like this video if you liked it and support my channel please and uh see you guys next time.